Hi, this is Jessica Robertson and we're in the garden today. This is a beautiful uh, late winter day in Texas and I'm going to show you how to plant asparagus. Uh, today we have asparagus crowns that look like so. And I wanted to point out a little bit about an asparagus crown because this is very important. You have an upside and a downside and these resemble, I like to think they look like little octopus. So when you plant these, you wanna make sure that you're planting the crown, which is actually the top part here. And you can see little appendages that kind of come off the top. And then you have your roots that kind of hang off the bottom. And so when we actually put these in the ground to plant them, and I'll show you how you do this in a second, but you kind of want to plant them so that they are spread out like an octopus, about like so. So we'll pretend that my hand is the dirt and you make a little pile of dirt underneath it and you kind of spread it out like an octopus. Anytime you plant something and you're unsure of whether the, which side is up or down, you can always plant it sideways if you wanted to. But this one's pretty obvious because the roots point down and the crown points up. So you just wanna make sure that when you do plant these in the ground that you kind of spread them out a little bit. So we're gonna prepare our hole first. And asparagus is very important. Um, these are two year crowns and these are also male asparagus because if you try to get male asparagus, you will uh, prevent having a lot of berries come off of female plants that may potentially spread around your garden and reseed everywhere. So if you can, try to find male plants. Uh, and these are also two-year-old crowns, so the older the better on them. Uh, you can also plant asparagus by seed if you want to, but I like to use crowns because you get a much better um, harvest time out of it. So when you plant asparagus, you plant it in the ground and you have to wait about two years before you're actually going to be able to start to harvest your asparagus out of, of the ground. And so what do we do is we're going to plant these. In the first year, you're going to dig a trench and we'll show you how to do that in a second. We're going to plant the asparagus and then we're going to do what's called healing them in a little over the, the period of time through the spring as the asparagus, asparagus starts to grow. So I'm going to dig me a little trench. Here in my garden, I have already established asparagus but here on the very end of my row, I have some asparagus that when I planted originally, it either failed or I didn't have enough. Something happened, and so I have a little bit of a blank spot about right here. And if you look in the back back here, I don't know if you can see it, but this is my established asparagus back here. And you can actually see it looks kind of like a little straw, and after we had a good freeze, I went ahead and cut it to the ground. So this end part from here to the end of my garden is where I'm going to fill in, and I have room for about two crowns of asparagus. You want to space these about one plant for every 18 inches. And uh, that's really important that you don't put them too close together. And pick a really, really good spot to plant them. Do a lot of thinking of where you're going to put this asparagus because once it's there, you don't want to move it because then you have to start all back over and you have to wait that two years to be able to eat your asparagus again. So I'm going to go ahead and dig my little trench here. And we want our trench to be about, let me make sure I get a straight line here. You want your trench to be about 8 to 10 inches deep and about eight to 10 inches wide. And it's really important that you get that depth whenever you're planting asparagus. I see some beautiful earthworms in here. That's a great sign that we have a healthy soil. Always like seeing those guys when I'm digging. So I'm gonna save my soil. I'm not gonna discard the soil. If you can see, I'm kind of taking it and setting it to the side because you're gonna use that soil to heal back in around your asparagus as they start to grow. So I've got my trench going here, and I'm almost done. And I actually am going to do it a little wider because I ended up a little crooked here. All right, so I'm just going to kind of clean out the bottom of my hole here. And we are ready to plant. First thing you want to do is amend your soil. And what I have is some worm castings. Okay, so I've, I have dug my trench about eight to 10 inches wide, about eight to 10 inches deep. Okay, so I've dug my trench. I've got it about eight, inches, eight to 10 inches deep and about eight to 10 inches wide. And now I'm gonna go ahead and amend my soil. So in this bag here, I have some beautiful um, homemade worm castings. And I'm just going to kind of pitch this in the bottom of the hole here. And when I amend, I like to kind of amend a little bit on top of what I'm going to cover over because whenever I take that and put, fill my hole back in, it will mix it nice and neat for me. So 
So compost, a good fin premium finished compost. Make sure it's a quality compost. Don't ever skimp on your compost. So I'm gonna take that and spread my castings through the bottom there. And then I'm also gonna use a product that contains mycorrhizae fungi. And this is very important. Uh, this is a great product that I have called MicroLife. This is an 846, it's a little bit high in nitrogen, but the most important thing about it is that it has a good beneficial micro package in it, specifically mycorrhizae fungi. Mycorrhizae fungi is very important to plant, almost all plants, colonizes the root system. And it's actually been found that mycorrhizae fungi, when you inoculate your asparagus with it, you will have a better production. So we all like asparagus. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little in here. And now it's time to plant our asparagus crowns. So I have two asparagus crowns, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of soil, and I'm gonna kinda mound it up. I kinda make like a little, kinda like a half hemisphere, a little basketball shape. And I'm gonna take my asparagus crowns and put them over like so. So they look like little octopus. Octopi, I guess is what you would say, in the ground. Let's do our other one right here. About 18 inches apart. That looks about right to me. And take my other little asparagus. I will also take him and fan his roots out over the soil. So if I were planting an entire run of asparagus, this of course would be much longer, but since I'm only filling in two, this is as much as I'm gonna do. So the next thing that you do is very simple. You just cover over the asparagus. Now it's important that you just barely cover over the top of these. So I'm just gonna fill this in around here and just barely cover over the top of my asparagus. Now you notice that I did not fill all the way to the top of my hole, so I have not filled it to grade yet, and that's really important. What I wanna do is I'm gonna wait. This is the hardest part is waiting for me. So I wait until spring, and when these two little uh, asparagus plants, when their growth starts to push the ground or grow up a little bit, I'm simply gonna take the soil and fill in around that new growth. I'm never gonna bury it completely once it has emerged from the soil, and I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna bury a little bit over it I'm gonna let it grow a little taller, then I'm gonna bury a little bit more soil around it. I'm gonna let it grow a little taller. By the end of the first season, you should be at soil grade level. So at the same grade level that you started. In other words, I'm letting that asparagus grow up through the soil, cover it over a little bit, grow up through the soil, cover over a little bit, without ne ever completely covering the top of the asparagus. You always want a little bit of green to be showing. Okay, so I've got my asparagus planted, and next is the hardest part, and that is waiting to be able to eat it. So the first year, you're gonna let that asparagus grow, grow, grow. You're not going to pick a single thing off of it. So hard to do after you're waiting to eat asparagus, I promise. But the first year, you're gonna let it grow, and it's gonna look a lot like fern or foliage, and those little fern fronds are gonna come up and mature off. Whenever it freezes, you're gonna cut your asparagus down to the ground. That's a good time to give it a good organic layer, something like compost or even mulch. Um, and then, the next thing you're going to do, <laughs> Carson, we're shooting a video on how to grow asparagus. Do you like to eat asparagus? <laughs> Don't listen to him. Okay, so after my asparagus has grown the first year, I'm going to let it grow through the first year. I'm not going to do anything to it. The second year, as my asparagus grows, I'm going to um, basically do nothing again. You're going to be allowed to have one little picking of asparagus on the second year. Every year after that, you'll be able to pick a little bit more and a little bit longer. It's very important that you don't pick asparagus to its very end. You wanna pick a little bit in the beginning of the season and then let the rest of the fern foliage go um, and grow up to be mature because it's collecting energy for the plant or for that crown. After about three to five years, you can harvest away on your asparagus. It should be pretty well established. Um, and you should be enjoying asparagus for years and years and years to come after that.